Hey there, today we're going to create a super cool text changing animation using just CSS. Ever wanted to showcase different roles or titles in an eye catching way? Well, this tutorial will help you make a dynamic text changer that rotates through a list of roles like developer, photographer, freelancer, and YouTuber. Picture this, you've got one word and with a smooth animation it transforms into different job titles all on its own, creating a lively effect for your site. We'll break everything down step by step so you can use this anywhere, and hey, don't forget to subscribe if you're excited to learn this. Let's get started. Let's dive into the HTML first. We're starting in the body section, where the real magic happens. We begin by adding a div element with the class text changer. This is the container for all of our text, and it's where we'll apply styles to get everything aligned just right. Inside this text changer div, we've got a P element with the class intro text. This paragraph will contain the phrase IMA, which sets the stage for the animated text to follow. Next, we add another div with the class roles container. This div holds all the roles that will appear one after another. Inside the roles container, we add several span elements, each with the class role. These span tags will contain words like developer, photographer, etc. These are the words that will change through the animation. The role class is applied to each span to target them with our CSS animation. Once we've added all the elements, we properly close the tags, the roles container, then the text changer, and finally the body. To summarize, we've just set up the structure for our text changer with each role in a separate span, all wrapped inside a div. It's like the backstage crew setting the stage for the show. Exciting stuff, right? Now let's preview you what we've done so far, though it won't be fully animated yet. Now, let's jump into the CSS. First, we add the body selector to style the overall page. We start by setting the height to 100 VH to make sure it covers the full viewport height. Then, we set the margin to 0 to remove any default space. Next, we set the display to grid, enabling the grid layout. To center the content both vertically and horizontally, we use place items. Finally, we set the background to a dark color to create a cool theme for the page. Next, we move on to the text changer selector. We set the height to 40 pixels to give it enough space. Then, we add padding of 10 pixels to make sure there's breathing room inside. We apply a border radius of 8 pixels for rounded edges. We also set the display to flex to align the contents properly. We choose this color for the text, which gives us a neutral gray. For the font family, we go with Poppins Sans Serif for a sleek, modern look. For the font weight, we choose 500 for a medium bold style. Font size, we set it to 25 pixels, so it's nice and readable. Finally, we set box sizing to content box ensuring the padding is added outside the element's width and height. Now let's focus on the intro text selector. We set the margin top to minus 2 pixels to adjust the positioning just a little bit. Next, we add the roles container selector. We set the overflow to hidden to make sure any content outside the container doesn't show. We set the position to relative to help with positioning the animated text. Next up, the role selector. Here's where the fun begins. We set the display to block to make the span elements behave like block elements and stack vertically. We set the height to 100%, making each role take up the full height of its container. Then, we add padding left of 6 pixels for a bit of space on the left. We apply this color for the text, and finally, we add an animation called Roll Chain, which runs for 4 seconds and repeats infinitely. This makes the rolls rotate smoothly, and that's it for the Roll Class CSS. But hold up, it's time to bring in the magic with the Nth Child Selector. This defines the animation for the text changer, and trust me, you'll want to pay attention here. It's like the secret sauce that makes everything work. The animation will make the text move up and down smoothly, looping endlessly. Let's set the keyframes. At 10%, we set the transform to translate Y minus 102%, which makes the text start off screen. At 25%, we set the transform to translate Y minus 100% to bring the first roll into view. Then at 35%, we move the next roll up by setting the transform to translate Y minus 202%. At 50%, we bring the second roll into view with translate Y minus 200%. At 60%, we move the next roll up with translate Y minus 302%. At 75%, the third roll comes into view at translate Y minus 300%. At 85%, we set the transform to translate Y minus 402%, moving the next roll up. Finally, at 100%, we finish off the animation loop with translate Y minus 400%. Woo, alright, pause here for a moment. This is the tricky part. This keyframe animation is what makes the rolls change smoothly, and it's a bit like juggling balls. You need to keep everything in the right place at the right time. So, if you're having trouble with 
with it, hit pause, think about what's going on, and leave a comment with your thoughts or questions. Let's work through it together. Once everything's set up, the animation runs, and the roles smoothly transition in and out, creating that cool effect we've been aiming for. It's like a magic trick, but with code. Let's check out how it looks. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit that thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome and interactive web development tutorials. There's a lot of fun stuff ahead. Can't wait to build more cool projects with you. See you next time, and happy coding!